Iran test fires new smart missile with strike range at 300 kilometers, ground force commander. The commander of the Iranian army's ground force has announced the test firing of a medium-range smart missile that can fly as far as 300 kilometers. Secret mission. Brigadier General Kiyamaz Haideri made the announcement on Sunday, without specifying the location, where the missile was being tested by the ground forces missile unit. The missile is prepared for deployment in defense of our homeland, he added, noting that the test firing was gauging the missile's precision of strike and destruction power. We are trying for our armaments in the area to firstly be smart, secondly be capable of automatic control function, and thirdly be surgical in nature, the commander noted. The military is investing in such projectiles, which can be used in surgical strikes and easily yield to automation processes. Iran engages in routine upgrading, testing, and meaningful display of its defensive might in line with regional and international developments. In January, the army and Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps staged around a dozen military maneuvers involving the full range of their forces and weaponry and covering huge swathes of the countries. Expanse. The drills came as the United States and some of its regional allies were flexing their military muscles in the Persian Gulf, including the deployment of military aircraft and vessels to the region. While underlining the need to be vigilant against potential miscalculations, military officials have also reminded how such hyped-up maneuvering reflected the enemy's wariness in the face of the Islamic Republic's firepower. Also on Sunday, Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatumai hailed that the Islamic Republic's defensive power, including its missile capability, was at its highest possible level. All of Iran's missiles enjoy high strike precision, maneuverability, and explosive power, and are fully accommodated to preserve the country's deterrence capability, the Defense Minister said. Speaking from the northwestern city of Zain Jain. By God's grace, the Islamic Republic today is one of the world's talked about missile powers, he said, noting that all of Iran's defensive requirements are manufactured domestically. Chinese forces peacefully disengage on board of redeploy troops and armor to permanent bases. Following eight months of high tensions on the Sino-Indian border, the two countries reached an agreement for peaceful disengagement following nine rounds of commander-level talks. The agreement stipulates that forces deployed on the north and south bank of Pangong Lake will cease their forward deployments in the phased, coordinated, and verified manner, which both countries have begun to see through. The Indian Army released images of the disengagement. With a 75-second video showing leaders from the Indian Army and People's Liberation Army meeting and shaking hands in the Chuzal sector of the eastern Ladakh region. The clip also shows a Plutype 99 tank moved back from its forward deployment towards its permanent base, 
and an Indian Army T-72 tank doing the same. The Type 99 is the most capable Chinese battle tank in service with the newer Type 99A variant considered one of the most advanced in the world. India's T-72 is one of its older tanks, although it is fielded in much larger numbers than the Type 99 with the Indian Army moving to replace frontline T-72 units with newer T-90 tanks. The video showed just how close units from the two countries were operating before the agreement just 100-150 feet apart with both China and India having gone to considerable lengths to avoid tensions and reduce the possibility of unintended clashes. The United States has notably tried to capitalize on Sino-Indian border tensions to bring Delhi into its sphere of influence and present itself as a protector against China. And improvements in relations between the two Asian powers and a reduction in tensions are likely to undermine American interests in the region.